Hello, I'm Juan Salazar from the University of Antioquia in Colombia. Natural forests are being lost very rapidly in South America. Last year, the rate of forest loss in the Amazon was like the size of one football pitch per minute. The forest loss accumulated during the present century exceeds the size of my home country, Colombia. Is this no more than another change in land cover with no consequences? I don't think so. This is very concerning for the world and even more for South America. One reason is that we are almost certain that the continent's climate will not be the same after losing the Amazon forest. There's a lot of scientific evidence that points to this conclusion. Of course, there are differences between uh, studies, but I don't know any single study suggesting that the continent's climate will not change as a result of extensive forest loss. There's even a danger of crossing a tipping point. The impacts of forest loss will be widespread across the continent. The Amazon plays a critical role in the continental water cycle. It's like a heart pumping water throughout the continent. Let me show you some examples of what I'm saying. Studying observational base data, we found a pattern that occurs over the Amazon forest only. In the right, you can see wind streamlines that represent the flow of moisture from the Atlantic Ocean to the Andes Mountains. When we look at how precipitation changes along these streamlines, we found that it grows exponentially over the forest, but not outside the forest. Is this just a coincidence in the observations? We think that it isn't simply because there are many ways in which precipitation is affected by the Amazon forest. One example is precipitation recycling. Around 30% of the precipitation that falls over the Amazon basin originates in the forest as transpiration. Also, there are estimates that an important fraction of the precipitation that feeds the water balance in other basins of the continent, such as the La Plata River Basin in the south and the Magdalena and Orinoco River Basins in the north, comes from the Amazon forest. In 2014, there was a very extreme drought that affected the natural savannas in eastern Colombia. This drought cause massive unprecedented death of animals. We think that we have compelling evidence that this drought is directly related to an atmospheric disconnection between this savanna and the Amazon forest. This gives an idea of what I'm saying. The time series in the top shows a decadal increase in the intensity of drought. The time series below shows a metric of the connection between the Amazon forest and the savanna. What we see is that the increase in drought intensity coincides with an increase in forest savanna disconnection. We cannot explain the whole reasons for this finding, but we know that forests can exert strong effects on precipitation in downwind areas. My last example is about the role of forest in regulating river flows. Regulation is an important property that describes the capacity of river basins to attenuate extreme river flows. Protecting this regulation capacity is good for our societies. Simply put, in the less regulated basins, we tend to have more problems with water availability and floods. By comparing different subbasins of the whole Amazon River Basin, we found that the more regulated basins are also the more forested ones. Interestingly, we found that the Tapajós River Basin, which has been largely deforested, behaves as unregulated, which is a surprise because it has multiple dams. Our idea is that the gains in regulation capacity that might be caused by dams are outweighed 
by a loss of natural regulation due to forest loss. In sum, we think that protecting the world's natural forests is in the best interest of our societies. The Climate Regulating Forest Initiative points in this direction. Thank you.